Welcome to the new episode. We are starting it off in the fight caves. Well, not the fight caves. The, the, the Tazark area. The, the Tazard area. Uh, where our embarrassment begins and stays. And I'm not doing the fight caves, so don't get your hopes up. Uh, I got 79 range from AFKing because, like I said uh, in the last video, it was getting really busy. Uh, it was a really busy week coming up. I had a lot of work and I had a lot of study doing. So I was AFKing sand crabs for most of it. And now I have a bit of playtime. So I ended up getting 79, well, almost 79 range. I literally just got it and I missed the clip because I'm a shit YouTuber. But we're going to camp here from 79 to 80 range. And I guess I'm kind of hoping for an Obby Mall just because I think they look cool. Um, Preferably, I would like an obby sword so I don't have to buy one and maybe get an obby cape because I'm too shit to get my fire cape But uh, essentially we're just gonna we're gonna camp here until 80 range and see what we get Good luck me, I guess. Oh man, and the first drop we get is a shield Fucking classic can't wear that because of 60 defense uh, So it's 137k so hopefully it will sell in the shop for a bit of fuck off Because uh, eventually I'm gonna need to buy an onyx from there my Berserk necklace. Cause I ha that's my plan for training melee, by the way. If you guys are wondering, got that from uh, from HC Foxy. Good YouTuber. You should look at you should look at these videos. Oh man, second drop. We've done it. We've done it. I can leave the area. I never need to come back for my fire cape because we got an obby cape. That is the noobs fire cape. I'm pretty sure it has the same defensive stats as a skill cape, which I have. But I'm the j the joke is I'm too I'm too shit to get a fire cape, uh, and everyone else that wears obby capes are too bad to get fire capes. Let's be honest. I see you. I know you. You say, oh, I just don't want to do it. You can't do it. It's okay. Neither can I. Don't worry about it. Man, and another obby cape. They're definitely trying to tell us something. This has actually been pretty good. I don't know how much uh, tackle I'm gonna get because I'm not gonna high up these for like 30k. It's just not worth it. I don't know how much tackle we're gonna get. Maybe I'll sell it at the end and buy an obby sword. Um, Cause that'll be my main melee training weapon cause it's 60 and I'm not, I don't, I'm not gonna complete um, Monkey Madness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unlock it, but I, I'm not gonna complete it because eventually I'll, I'll wanna chin that area. Oh, we got another shield, man. Why can't I get an obby mole or something or just something decently useful for the account? I don't know why I'm complaining. It's literally like just like free money. But hey, another shield. And that is 80 range. We have done it. I'm actually not like this was kind of fun. This literally it took like it took me like maybe an hour or two hours on my day off. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, we got 80 range. We ended up getting this guy in the chat, by the way. Fucking giving me shit about not having a fire cape. Fuck you. Um, ended up getting two obby capes as well as two shields, which is pretty decent. I'm gonna finish off this kill and I'm gonna go for one more, like Chaparro RS always told me to do. I'm gonna go for one more kill, uh, just cause I feel like you should, man. You never know, you never know what's gonna, you never know what you're gonna get if you don't kill it, you know what I mean? Bro, you would not believe it. I, I freaked out and picked it up straight away, um, but you can see I still have my random event right here. I literally just got another obby cape from killing that guy. I told you, man, kill one more. You never know. You never know if you're not going to get it. Uh, but I'm going to kill this guy as well because you never know. Maybe I'll get that obby mole that I wanted. Probably not. Um, but yeah, from here from here on in for this episode, I'm going to be working on some mage training. But I also need some money. Uh, so I don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't know. Uh, my, my bank can't be liquidated anymore. There's no, there's no more money in there. So... I'm gonna have to give it a, a thorough look a thorough look over and see what we can do. But yeah, I can't I told you man, kill one more. Bro, I just thought of the most I, j I literally just found out the most the most ingenious moneymaker. I honestly I don't know why more Iron Man haven't done it. Maybe I'm the first one to discover it. But honestly I'm gonna keep it a secret until I have it all like prepared and made. But honestly, man, like I'm gonna make I it's just unfathomable to me that no one's done this before. I'm gonna make so much money off of this, which I'm really excited for, and I can invest it all into my magic training. So that's gonna be fucking amazing. So do you guys remember me saying that thing about, uh, I discovered a new money maker and I can't believe no one's done it before. And 
I think I've, I'm the I'm the first one to discover this. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna start I'm gonna begin to explain what I thought I discovered and let me know in the comments when you discover when 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 you figure out that uh, I'm a fucking idiot and I fucked up. So I have like 10,000 gold bars sitting in the bank um, from when I was doing when I was getting my smithing up last episode. And I was like looking around, I was like, I know you can turn them into gold bracelets and you can high out them for a small profit, but I was like, look, I need to make, I can, I can make some more money off this, honestly, there has to be a way. And I recently unlocked Slayer Ring, so um, when I went to, I could go Rev Caves and teleport over level 30 Wilderness and stuff like that. And I right clicked my Slayer Ring and it high outs for 600 GP each, and I was like, that's insane, I can buy the gem for 1 GP, and then I can turn all of them, I can buy, I can, yeah, I can buy 10,000 of them for 10k, and then I can make 10,000 Slayer Rings, high up them all, I'll make 6 mil, um, at the end of the day, once I've invested all my money into Nature Rune, so I was like, fuck yeah, I went and bought around 4,700, um, Slayer Gems, and then I was just lying in bed, you know, just like, that night, I was just like drifting off to sleep, and, uh, this thought popped into my head, You can't note, you can't note Slayer Rings. You can't note Slayer Rings! So, that fucking idea, that, that fuck, <sighs> no wonder no one thought of it, cause you can't fucking do it. I just went and spent, I just spent so, I spent like an hour buying Slayer Gems and you can't even do it. And I was like, oh, it's okay. I'll, maybe I can make them and then high out them while I walk to the bank. It takes two minutes per inventory. It would take me 10 hours to make six mil. It's not, it's not viable. I'm a fucking idiot. And now I need to think of a new moneymaker. Yay me! Yeah, that plan fell apart pretty quickly. Uh, I have a th I have around a thousand um, U logs in the bank, so we're gonna go fletch them into U longbows, uh, string them up, and then buy invest all my money in nature runes, uh, and we'll high alk them while doing laps of the agility pyramid because I need around I think it's around two mil. Of money investment into runes because I'm going for a new best in slot and I'm also doing mage training so can you guess can you guess what I'm doing I'm doing mage train arena um, yeah I'm gonna go I'm gonna go uh, high out all of these and do laps of the agility pyramid hopefully make at least one mil because I've invested enough money into my nature room so far that I shouldn't have to buy anymore I don't know I've never done it before and the guides aren't very specific so Alrighty, so that's enough laps of the agility pyramid. That's enough high owl king. I have made, if I'm not wrong, uh, 1.92 mil, uh, which is definitely enough. 1.092. So like, what? I've made I've made one mil, almost 1.1 mil, uh, and I still have 4,210 uh, nature runes. I'm pretty sure that's enough. I'm just gonna go straight to the mage training arena and do the high uh, high alchemy room because it's the easiest. It's the one that I enjoy the most. Um, plus, I'm pretty sure the rune light plugin is just makes it fucking ridiculously easy. So we're gonna go smash that out. Once we finish that, then we'll go invest the rest of our money into law runes, cosmic runes, and oh no, we need nature runes for the other room as well. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure we I'm pretty sure we should be sorted as long as I'm not like high alking the ones that are worth 1 GP each, which I'm pretty sure I won't be doing. I'm gonna wish good luck to my fellow Iron Man. Uh, we're done with this room so far. It actually did not take that long. It took about maybe two hours, three hours. I don't know. I've just been watching. I've just been watching Archer in the background while doing it. So it's been a fucking breeze. Uh, it's nice to have some time off and some active playtime. Um, but now I need to go invest all of my money into law runes and cosmic runes. The guides are very uh, unspecific on how many I need, so I'm gonna buy like 2,000 laws. Cause I'm gonna need them for teleporting anyway, and I'm gonna buy like a thousand uh, cosmics. I think I think we should be fine with that many. Uh, so I'm gonna go spend three hours doing that. Peace. All right, I did it, lads. Um, I still have like 500, I still have almost like 600k, so I'm not sure if I've bought enough runes or if like all of the guides that I'm looking, because it says like you need to invest like 2 mil, but it might be all the guides that I'm looking at are going off of GE price because the store runes are always cheaper. So I've still got 3,297 nature runes, I have 1,169 cosmics and 2,041 law runes. I'm hoping it's going to be enough. 
pretty sure it will be. I don't know what room we're gonna do next. Probably telekinetic because that's my fucking least favorite room and I'd rather get it out of the way, get it done nice and quickly, so. Yeah, let's go to this, I guess. Bro, the telekinetic room was a fucking breeze with the room light plug-in. It made life so much easier. Honestly, sometimes I think about like just disabling the room light plug-in because it just makes the game like like a, a thousand times easier. That is done. That's the grind out the way. Uh, now we're gonna move on to the enchantment room. Um, apparently, it's pretty like riddled with bots. Um, but it's pretty, I'm pretty sure this, this is not peak time. It's like 11 o'clock at night and I live in Australia, so I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Also just dropping in, we just hit 75, I'm not done yet, but we just hit 75 magic, so uh, yeet yeet. So I high upped one wrong gem, that's why uh, this would have been my last one, but uh, we high upped one for eight, so we're gonna do one more. Um, I don't know if, I, I know, everyone says it's overrun with bots, I don't know if Jagex fixed it, or did something about it, but, like, pretty much everyone I saw was just, like, another Iron Man who fucking had to go at me, and I had no idea what the, what the fuck he was trying to say to me, but that's besides the point, we got this one done pretty easy, it only took 400, um, cosmic runes, so, we'll probably be coming back here for Bones to Peaches at one point, um, but right now I just don't really want to do it, but it was pretty easy, um, and now we've only got one more room to go, so the graveyard room should be, should be doable, I'm not too worried about it. Bro, this is the fucking worst room, this is, this is the worst, I thought the telekinetic room was the worst, this is shit, if I had Bones to Peaches unlocked it wouldn't be too bad, because I could just like camp here and eat the peaches, but, oh my god, man. Thank god for Runelight plugin as well, I literally don't have to think while playing this game anymore. God damn, man. This room's the fucking worst. I did it, boys. You have no idea how- Oh, man, this is gonna be- Oh, it's gonna be so rewarding. Buy that one, buy that one, buy that one, buy that one. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure this is my best in slot magic. Yeah, plus 20 magic. Best in slot until I get a Kodai. I'm pretty sure. And I'll never get a Kodai. I really want to. I really want to do some raids kind of soon. I just want to go like do some leech raids. I should really start watching streams when I have some playtime. Uh, but knowing me, I, I man, I won't get shit. My skills aren't good enough to um, leech points that well, and I definitely won't be doing enough damage. But I feel like this week we're gonna work on 1500 total because I can't do rev caves. I just. It, I, get, I mean, I, I literally run in there and someone fucking kills me, man, and I, I want to do it revs for money, so. 1500 total, here we come! Yeah, so I'm gonna be working on 1500 total this, uh, this week. Quality of life update, Jagex, if you're listening. Please add jugs of water packs to the game where I can buy them from a shop. Because this is shit. I have to fill up 7,800 or something like that. Um, but I calculated it right, and we'll be getting 80 cooking of this, so we can finally start cooking sharks, which will be, you know, uh, our food for bossing. Which will be great when we're doing Zolra, when we're doing pretty much Zolra. This account, I just wanna, I really wanna start doing Zolra on this account. I've never, I've never done Zolra before, so expect a death montage coming up when I finally get the balls to attempt it. But that's 7,000 uh, jugs of water done. We're gonna go make a shit ton of wine. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do my best to uh, make sure we hit the XP drop. Like I save them all up and then we just get a fat XP drop. All right, so to start off, we're actually, or I'm actually only just gonna make enough wines to get me to 68 exactly because once we hit 68, we no longer make bad wines. So there's the XP drop. And I calculated it right, 68. So this, from this point forward, we're no longer going to be making bad wines, and we'll have exactly enough to get us to 80 uh, cooking. So hopefully I see you at the 80 cooking drop. I fucked it already, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying close enough attention. 72 cooking! Um, I'll do my best. I'm doing my best, man. And we're lagging. This one's not my fault, just so, just so you guys know. I'm, I'm trying to open the bank, but... Whoa, 383 XP drop and 75 cooking. Oh, now the fucking bank opens. Yeah, they're in. All right, 75 cooking. Five more levels to go, boys. I'm gonna. Hopefully, I can save it to 80. I fucking did it. 
Oh man, look at that, 662k and 80 cooking members can now cook raw sharks. We did it boys, that is, oh that's just adding to the total level of fuck, you love to see it man. You love to see it. I also have a thousand uh, raw sharks in the bank at the moment. We're not gonna cook them just yet, um, and we will be fishing more. I really need to start working on my supplies, just like my, my potions, my food, everything like that, because I, re I really want to start bossing sometime soon. You know, I feel like I'm just like fucking around at the moment and just like doing, doing, doing just other shit, you know? I want to start working, working towards some actual goals on this account, but as for actual goals on this account, 1500 total. Coming in quick. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing next. Probably, probably construction. So as you guys may be able to tell, I have not done construction a lot. I don't do it at all. Um, I didn't know I needed a bed for my server, and so I went and built a bed, right? Get this, I went and built a bed. I went back, went to, tried to hire again, but she said I needed another bed. Apparently we can't share beds. I didn't know that. I don't sleep in the fucking house, so I don't see why I need to get two beds. But that's whatever. I got two beds, I have like some some supplies for construction. I have like a bunch of limestone bricks that I bought a very long time ago because I thought this would be a really good way to get my construction up through the early levels, early levels for a cheap way. It's not great, but it is gonna work till we get to 33 and then I have uh, about 1,600 or 1,700 oak planks that I got from opening, opening up Ecolectic Implings. So we'll smash through that. I think it should get us to at least 50 because um, I'm pretty sure you can mount a glory on the wall at 50, so that's gonna be great. Construction does not take long at all, so we're just gonna smash this all the way out until we finish all of our uh, oak planks. Alright, so we ended up getting 51 construction. One more level than I thought I was gonna get. It's pretty nice. Um, the only real unlocks I think I unlocked, because they don't tell you in the chat or... Well, I just skipped over it. Um, I'm pretty sure the only unlock I got that was worth mentioning was hanging a uh, glory on the wall, Mount of Glory, which will be great for me when I finally craft one. Or get one from Dragon Implings. I will get one one day, I just don't know when, because hunt I, I hate hunting. But I think the next skill we're gonna move on to is rune crafting. We have 13 at the moment. Uh, I think pretty sure like I'll do one inventory of earth runes and then we'll get us to 14. I've got like a thousand pure essence in the bank, so I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna smash that all the way out until whatever total level we can get. So I did calculate it wrong, but that's okay. We just made a quick trip uh, to the pure essence mine. I know I never said I'd mine my own, but turns out I will. Um, just enough to get us to 27 rune crafting. We're gonna stop it now. I'm not sure what the next skill I'll move on to. Probably just the easy ones. You know, I was like gonna go to 83 Hunter, um, but this episode's been taking too long and I just wanna hit 1500 total already. So I'm probably gonna go do thieving by the looks of it. Psych, apparently not. We were super close to a mining level, so I thought I'd just get this one level out of the way. Um, I'm not going to be doing any more mining after this, and the reason I'm at the gem rock is because we're going to need sapphires in the future, because we're going to be spending a lot of time in the wilderness, you know, rev caves, getting our prayer up at the chaos altar. But yeah, there's one more level to the to the tally, and 20 more levels to go. So I think I think this is where I'm going to go to thieving now. Alright boys, 55, we can now pickpocket Knights of the Ardong, which means we're going to go do Ardy Knights, but before we go do Ardy Knights, we're going to go get the full Rogue set, just because I think, you know, eventually I will end up getting, obviously eventually I will end up getting uh, 99, uh, 99 Thieving, but the Rogue Boots also are the best in slot for range defense, I'm pretty sure. Out without having rangers, and who knows when I'll get rangers. Um, at the end of this episode, I'll be talking about my medium blue scroll grind as well, um, and the, I guess, you know, the grind to get rangers. I've actually never done this before, I don't know. Either. Can I just start it? What do you think you're going? You're a little too eager to come talk to me before you go wandering. Yeah, okay. Uh, I've never done this before, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Yes, actually what you got. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, sounds good. Alrighty, that took a while. Thank you, Shaking Box. I really appreciate the um the guide. We're gonna crack the wall safe and go for our first item. Hopefully we get one. Doesn't
What? No! Oh, your agility and stuff resets. Okay, no problem. That's fine. Let's try this one. Fuck, man! Oh, please spin for luck! What do I do with this? Let's go! I can't take this in, can I? Yeah, fucking. Did I fall? Fuck. Oh, man. Alright. Go again. Damn it! Fifth time's the charm. And apparently it's not. I'm gonna do- I'm gonna do one more, and if I if I get one, I'll go again. But if I fail it, I'm- I need to take a break. And then we'll go do Hunter or something, so I actually feel like I'm getting something done. If I fail this one, I'm gonna go do some Hunter. Let's, uh, let's do this one. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> Alright, I'll do one more. If I fail it, I'm gonna go do some Hunter. Ah, I don't really wanna do this anymore! <laughs> oh my god, we just got another one straight afterwards. <sighs> it's going well, but I don't wanna do this anymore. If I don't get this one, we're gonna go do some Hunter. <laughs> if I fail this, I'm doing Hunter. If I get it, I'm doing Thieving. Let's go. Ah, uh, I didn't wanna do Thieving. <laughs> <laughs> and there is 60 thieving uh, from this point we're going to be moving on to hunter I need to go get one level at red sallies and then we will be going from 67 to 70 um, at black salamanders maybe 80 maybe just finish the rest of our total left to maybe just finish the rest of our total level off uh, doing hunter but more than likely not because I despise hunter and it is very boring to me so we got level 70 hunter i didn't even realize i was like fuck man we we, we gotta be getting close and then i checked oh, we got we got 70 hunter um 10 more levels until 1500 total i am thinking about going to rich and chompers and then um getting the rest of the levels from there the only thing that stopped me from going to um red gym chompers has been i have to do the eagle's peak quest to lace uh, trap boxes which is like really <laughs> You know, I get, oh, we're gonna stop bots by, you know, making them do a fucking, you know, mediocre request with almost no requirements, like... It's just frustrating, man. Like, I almost have 1500 total, I have so many hours of gameplay, and you're still making me go do some fucking, some stupid quests. Alright, so we're gonna get some levels in Herbalore, hopefully, um, but I've decided to fuck my account and get 13 defense so I can unlock fairy rings by doing the nature spirit. Just joking, no. Uh, we're gonna half complete it, we're gonna uh, complete it until we get the blessed sickle so we can farm Mortmire Fungus so we can make super energy potions. And I know this is like pretty late in the game, like 75 crafting is pretty late in the game, so. And most, most, most accounts have access to fairy rings, but uh, if you guys don't have access to fairy rings and you want to farm Mortmire Fungus uh, and you have 75 crafting, you can use Slayer Rings to teleport to the Slayer Tower, run down, you know, do your shit, uh, bless, bless that wood, pick the Mortmire Fungus, and then use a Ring of Dueling to teleport to Clan Wars, reset your prayer, and then uh, teleport to the Slayer to the Slayer Tower again. Little another, another little pro tip that I discovered, because I was like, how the fuck am I going to do this? But yeah, uh, pretty easy. We're going to be here for, I think, like 300. I think I have like... 280 in the bank. Alright, we are done. We got 267 more my fungus in the end, and we only have 273 Aventos. Um, I only have 51 Herblore at the moment, but we will just, uh, we can either plus 5 boost or plus 1 boost with the Greenman's Ale, uh, and we'll be making it from there. You know, plus 1 boost to 52. We'll be making, making all of these and seeing what level we can get up to. Um, I also have, like, some Limpwork root seeds in the bank at the moment from doing the thieving grind um so we're gonna go plant them uh and then we'll be able to make some super strength potions as well um so hopefully that'll get us you know a couple more easy levels um before i decide what the last couple levels are gonna be so that is 52 herbalore nothing interesting we can make the potions that we've already boosted up to make so nothing new really 
level 53, we can make hunter potions. Uh, probably won't be needing that for a while anyway, because when are we gonna get 80, uh, 80, when are we gonna get 80 hunter to boost up, uh, boost up three to catch dragon inflings? <laughs> Not anytime soon. So we ended up getting 53 herb lore. Uh, I do not have enough uh, supplies, herbs and stuff at the moment to get me 54 herb lore and we still need 8 more levels. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do looking at this, but to be honest I'm more than likely going to go camp the Archaeus library and get the 8 easy levels there because it's just going to be the quickest and I want to get this episode over and done with. After doing the master one grind, I just want to... Finish this video, edit it, and start AFKing this account again. We've done it. It's been a long two to three weeks, but we've done it. We finally hit 1500 total level and brought this episode to an end. We can finally move into the new worlds, our new home, because we are elitists and we'll no longer talk to people that are under 1500 total. It's beautiful here. I feel more important already. My life has more meaning. Maybe my parents won't hate me when I tell them what, I, what, I've, what I've achieved in my life so far. No regrets, definitely worth it. And that's going to do it for the end of the episode. Uh, ending it with 1500 total, as you guys saw. I'm pretty happy with how it went. Obviously, it would have been more beneficial of me to invest more time into Hunter and other skills to get that 1500 total, but I just kind of wanted to get it out there for next week's episode, because <clears throat> why am I talking like this? <laughs> I've been watching way too many hype people, uh, hype men, YouTubers. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get 1500 total uh, for next week's episode. And when, I, when I say next week, I mean next month's episode because I'm very bad with releasing content on time. So next month's episode um, has a lot to do with 1500 total worlds. That's all I'm gonna skip. That's all I'm gonna give away at this point in time. But I want to end that. I wanted to end this episode. And I want to end the next few episodes off of it opening up at least five medium clue caskets because I want to keep that grind going. Uh, I'm trying to get ranges because you know it's my best in slot, and also I want to open my hard clue caskets. You know there could be there could be some third age sitting in there. Um, I ended up getting five. I ended up getting five in this clip and nine in another. Um, so I'm just gonna play it out. Maybe you maybe I'll drop in. You know maybe I'll drop in and uh, comment on some of the good loot, and maybe not. We'll see. Maybe not was right. Terrible RNG. Better luck next month.